Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot. I'll be reading, doing your reading for September 2022 and uh, yeah as I say let's get on with the reading my lovely Virgos. I do hope that you are all well and uh, life is treating you well in some way okay. Um, as I say, we're all going through our own separate journeys these days. And uh, of course, we are no exception, Virgo. So let's get on with the reading. Okay, so always look at the um, planet or moon activity going on for the signs through the month. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is Venus. Okay, there we go. We have the Venus card. So we have Venus uh, entering Virgo on the 5th of September. So this energy here. So this energy must learn to relax and enjoy the moment and not kill it. So be careful. Okay, and this could be done. It's, it's funny, you can kill the moment when you start um, bringing up the past. Uh and if you're with someone, it's, it's just safe because it's coming through here a little bit strong as well about um, relationships in uh, September's readings. So we could be looking at um, talking about your exes or, you know, stuff like that. So we've got to be careful, Virgo. OK, not everything needs too much thought. OK, so that's what we need. So we don't need to overthink anything, Virgo. And relax and uh, enjoy the moment don't think about it too much whatever you're doing and this goes for your work you know your relationships your um in your life whether it's with your family you know your work relationships you know your own work whether you work for yourself or with uh, somebody in your life so it's about you know sort of living in the moment enjoying the moment with that uh Venus, Virgo, Venus in Virgo. <laughs> okay. Okay, with that energy as well, we can be, um, before I go on, I'm going to explain myself because we can be a little bit, um, what can I say? I don't want to say prudish. I don't want to say we're, we're, we're prudish. But we can be self-conscious of ourselves you know it could be just something about ourselves that we hide or we we try to cover up and this is a time i feel for everybody not just virgos but everybody to sort of it's about authenticity it's about being you know being who you are and embracing who you are you know warts and all so don't um don't hide yourself, Virgo. There's nothing to hide. Don't doubt yourself. That's coming through very strongly for you, uh, I feel, for, you know, for the last few months, maybe. You know, you're still doubting yourself, doubting yourself. You're still feel, feeling you're having doubts about, um, you know, what, what you want to do, where you're going in life. Are you doing something right? Are you doing something correctly? You know, is it good enough? So we're over analysing uh, situations and things in our lives. OK, so on my notes, of course, I do write my little notes down here. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> OK, so the 10th of September is when we have a full moon in Virgo. So this is our full moon. So, um, of course, these are my i make cards so here we have of course the writings back to front i will before i carry on i will um really try to um do start doing a reading on my do the doing the readings on my uh, computer so i need to get a new webcam and get that set up and be instructed because i'm not very good at technology stuff um i'm a bit rusty in that field um yeah so we have a virgo full moon as i say on the 10th of september 
uh, having high standards is a good thing. But remember to interact and integrate with people. Okay, so there's a lot of this uh, solitude, but it's it's like going to the extreme where um, we've got so used to um, our own company that we forget to mingle and venture out and mix with others. So that is um, that, that is something to consider, Virgo, okay? Okay, as I say, having high standards, yes, it is a good thing. But, you know, just, as I say, you know, just do what you do. You know, don't think about it uh, too much. Don't analyse it too much. Just, you know, go with it, whatever feels good for you. Okay. So um, next we have Mercury entering Virgo and that will be on the 23rd of September. So we go through this and of course with this, I forgot to say, with this Virgo um, full moon, we have this you are good enough, you know, don't, doesn't matter what anybody says Virgo, even how you feel, you might might not feel you're up to scratch or you, you're trying to be a certain standard or reach a certain standard. It's about knowing that you're good enough. You know, there's nothing that you really need to do. You know, you can always add to things as you go along. So, um, yeah, so that's a, a, a nice energy. So you are good enough, which is really nice. Surrender to the divine, all full moons, you know, is about surrendering to the divine and letting go and cleansing and everything else. It's always a good start. Uh, it's a good uh, way to start afresh, you know, when we've had a full moon and then we sort of uh, regenerate and sort of start something. It's a good time to let go of um, what's holding us back with a full moon and uh, to proceed, you know, start that new cycle and uh, start, start it, you know, thinking and being positive yeah that's nice nice messages there Virgo for you okay so I'm going to put them aside just for a minute your activity because now we're going to go into the cards and the reading I am going to pull some uh tarot cards I'm going to pull from the universal uh this for the month of September <laughs> oh excuse me now what I wanted to say I don't know what's um you do have Okay, you have this card, which is from the Black Moon Astrology cards. You have the Capricorn card, which says I use. It doesn't mean to say use people. No, of course, you use what's at your disposal. You use, uh, if you've got an opportunity, you take it. If some someone has something to offer, so we're just going over this card first. If someone is offering you their advice, their, um, what can I say, their, their skills, their, um, their knowledge in some way. Uh, somebody here, you know, can open, open doors for you as well with this card. So it's about putting your foot down on the accelerator and start moving, you know, start moving forward. Uh, you have what you need. If we look at, um, you use what you have to the best of your ability, whatever that is for you, um, Virgo. But also, there's also an energy of uh, Capricorn. Of course, Capricorn energy. So there's Capricorn around you, in your energy, in your environment, um, or somebody is... Uh, just like lingering some way in your energy. And this could also be you as well, Virgo, where you're thinking, as I say, about um, thinking about uh, your past, you know, your past and or past situations, whatever that might be for you. Um, looking at this card, of course, it's a card. If we think of, um, I'm just thinking of Capricorn and the 10th house, you know, where you fit in the world. Um, where's your, what's that? Where's your niche? Is that it? Is where your niche, 
where you're um where is it you need to be at this point in your life what is it you're good at you know what is it you recognize about yourself it's about making uh, some sort of impression um obviously not always for the benefit of others but the benefit of for the benefit of yourself it's making a, a nice good positive impression you know for yourself so yeah this is um and the reason i say that here i think you, you are connected to a capricorn because we also have um which i pulled from the seers tarot you also have the devil card okay um yeah so this is like stuff i don't know i don't know if you've got something whatever it is for you something going around in your mind all the time you keep revisiting something in your mind a situation a person um even something you're learning you know you're just sort of going over and over and over in your head and it's becoming um it could become quite um i'll say you know toxic for you because um you're sort of attached and you're also attached in some way because this is the Virgo, uh, Virgo Capricorn card as well, the Devil card. So we're looking at Saturn as well here. So um, don't, I'd say, don't be careful what you're thinking, uh, how you're thinking. Don't let something uh, bring you down. Don't let something pull you down. Let let anybody or someone's attitude towards you. Um, maybe uh, the way they speak about you and it gets back to you in some way so it's it's about someone's attitude and this could also in a positive because it's not all negative here so uh, I'd say on a positive sense uh, for some of you you have a Capricorn because we have the uh, ring then we move on here to the ring card from the Lenormand okay so the ring is all about um, it's about contracts, it's about commitment, it's about uh, an agreement, promises, stability, it's about keeping your word, uh, seeing something through, a proposal, a gift or accomplishments. So this card covers all those sorts of, uh, you know, we could be looking at all those words here with the ring. So something here, I think some of you are, I mean, some of you could be married to a Capricorn. Uh, some of you could be uh, committing, I think, or you're committed in some way. And this could be karmically as well. So, um, but on the positive side, uh, some of you are in Capricorn energy. Uh, yeah, because we do have, of course, that Capricorn card there as well from the Black Moon astrology uh, cards. So that's coming through very strongly and this commitment is coming through so some sort of commitment it could be to a person it could be to uh, your work you know you're committed to your work you're committed to your family you're committed to a person or you're going to commit you're going to make some sort of commitment here and for others of you, if it's not that, it's about getting this energy or drop, trying to release this energy that's attached attached to you in some way from someone who is toxic or from the past, I would say, you know, somebody that you was involved with. And it's still there. It still lingers. It's still, you know, sort of there in your mind somewhere. OK, so let's have a look. So we're looking at, uh, of course, with the ring, more serious commitments. Um, and we talked about soul contracts. And then we move on. Um, as I say, you could be doubting yourself. And uh, as I said earlier, you could be doubting yourself. This could be to do with your work and your relationships. So, uh, as I say, don't be a prisoner. Don't be a prisoner. That's the word I put down. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Okay, Virgo, just look uh, to a positive, you know, look positively into the future. So uh, already some really um, nice messages and sort of like a, a, a thumbs up. Well, they say a thumbs up, a heads up, a heads up for you in some way. Okay, so the other energy we have here. So someone is seeking the truth 
in a situation because we've got my other this is my other uh, I've done these last night my own made deck questions and answers so this is um this, this is the number seven very mysterious mystical number is the number seven but it's also a number of uh if you are a life path seven just for example so if you were born on, doesn't matter what month you were born, but of course for you, Virgo, it does, because I nearly slipped up there. <laughs> Silly me. Yes, Virgo, if you were born on the 7th, the 16th or the 25th of September. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Then maybe this reading's for you. OK, someone's seeking the truth. So you are seeking some sort of truth about a situation whatever that is for you, you know, you know what that is, Virgo, okay, very intelligent, Virgos are very intelligent, more than they give themselves credit for, okay, you're original, you're a one-off, um, but you are loners, of course, you don't earn it, you know, it hasn't come up yet, but we have that loner energy here with the number seven, analytical, of course, observant, scrutinizing you know like figuring things out so we've got all that sort of energy so uh, if you are seeking some sort of truth or answer in a situation with this card i feel um it won't take you too long to figure out what's going on or what's what in a situation okay virgo so that's really nice okay so i'm going to pull some tarot now for you Okay, so we're going to pull one for the, uh, we've got two Capricorns, so we want to know what this commitment is, because we have some sort of commitment here. So we're going to pull a card for each and see what happens, so we're going to have a look at this card first. And I'm going to um, put this card next to it, because we're going to see what this energy here is here. And we're going to see what this contract, whether it's karmic. Um, soul, you know, karmic soul contract or a contract or an agreement or some sort of commitment. We're going to have a look and see what comes up here. So why is the Capricorn Black Moon card here? Thank you. And in relationships as well, Virgo, I feel you are good enough. Um, you value yourself, your self-worth. So, you know, you you only take what you, you know, you really deserve and what you want. So you can be picky. Because I feel last month uh, you, you've got a choice. It's like you've got, it's like a, a big, big container of quality street. You know, you've got, you know, you, you, you've got a, a pick there, a choice, you know, what one you like, you know, what one takes your fancy but one you like the best um can we oh, i shouldn't be advertising really should i i might get in trouble <laughs> anyway mixed bag of sweets meaning you're spoilt for choice i do feel there's someone you've got your eyes on Right, so what is this Capricorn from the Black Moon? Let's have a look. What is this Capricorn card from the Black Moon? Oh, great. We've got the full card. Um, also Uranus energy here. So uh, this is breaking free. This is a new beginning, a new start. We just go through what the, the card says. So it's about having, um, as I say, having, you've got what you need, you know, to do something. You know, you've got enough information, you've got enough knowledge. And, you know, it, it doesn't have to be, it can be a card of inexperience. So maybe what you lack is practice in some way. So you're lacking some sort of practice. But I do see you, um, excuse me, talking, my lips are going dry. I do see you opening up and um, start taking that, um, how much should I say it? I don't want to say the leap of faith. <laughs> it's haunting me, the leap of faith. Yeah, but taking the leap of faith into the future, a new beginning. 
So we're starting something. So this could be a relationship for you. This could be uh, your business, your career, uh, moving in a new direction, taking the, the minimum. You know, it's like about not just in material, um, not just in the material. This is minimalistic in the way that you, it's like what, what you needed in the past or felt you needed or what you put more value on, it doesn't matter anymore. You know, it's it's how you're looking at things now and uh, what you value the most in, in how you are now in the present. So this is a very, uh, as I say, freedom loving, um, sort of just going with it. This is like, I'm just, I'm just going for it. You know, I'm gonna give this a try at least, whatever it is for you, I'm gonna give this a go, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, you know, this could open new doors for me. Okay, so the Devil card. We have the Knight of Cups, so we have water energy here. And uh, this is also, um, it could be, so we'll always throw it out there, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. But this is the Knight of Cups is a Pisces, you know, it can be the Pisces energy. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or have a Pisces around you. But it's also following your heart, your heart's desires. You know, it's about wearing your heart on your sleeve and uh, really putting something, you know, you, you're putting your all, your emotions, your feelings and, you know, what you really feel into something, into someone or something. Okay, Virgo. So that's really nice. Could be dealing with a player as well because the Knight of uh, Cups can also, I did say the Knight of Cups before, didn't I? The Knight of Cups can also be a little bit of a player um, for some of you, especially as it's on top of that Devil card. So a, a little bit naughty, naughty energy there in some way. Uh, so just be careful, you know, who you are attracting into your life uh, make sure no one's you know let's put it as say it as it is make sure you're not being used or taken advantage of or any way um don't be like a convenience for someone else when they feel like it so you know i'm sort of feeling that sort of energy here as well with the devil and the knight of cups Okay, with this commitment coming in, so this could be a commitment or contract agreement or something to that effect to do with, it can be a relationship, it can be a job, you know, or, or something, to, or some other commitment. Okay, so I feel it's work commitment for you, Virgo, because we have the eight of coins. So this is about a uh, skill. It's about uh, professionalism. It's about getting, remember, we've got that analytical with that number seven and Neptune. We have that uh, being very uh, analytical here, observant. So it's about it's about the attention, paying, what is it? Attention to detail. That's what I want to say. So you, you, you're not really missing anything. You're perfecting something. And um, I just say with this energy, I mean, you're committed Virgo to whatever you're doing 100% and I feel this here and um, this could also be a relationship as well but it's something that you're really working on bless you um, you're really working hard you're doing your best you're trying to do your best and uh, yeah so you know you're really putting your all into something Virgo and um, you're giving really giving something a go so that's really nice but don't don't overdo it okay so just you know take a step back sometimes and you know just let something happen uh, let something happen naturally authentically um you know what is what will be will be you know what what's meant to be will be and what isn't well it won't it'll fade you know it'll, it'll go so um we want the negative to, to fade away, you know, to, to go away. And we want the positive to come in. Okay, let's have another look. Hmm. Yeah, I feel we've been struggling, Virgo, as well here with this uh, Five of Pentacles. 
I feel there's been a struggle. It's been a hard slog, um, a hard struggle for you, you know, through your life as well, maybe through your life, a certain area of your life. Um, maybe you felt um, isolated or left out in some way. And it's like, the energy I'm picking up, it's like you, you're so used to being on your own now, you're so used to being by yourself that you don't know, you know, it's like you've got comfortable with it, you've really got comfortable with it, um, but no, you deserve so much better, so much more, you know, um, as I say, this energy as well, there could be somebody holding you back, um, somebody pleasing i say pleasing uh poverty around you taking you know taking advantage so someone it may be trying to take advantage of you in some way it's like poor me and i don't mean you virgo someone around you is uh sort of trying to plead poverty but they're not they're not then they're far from being uh are done by in some way so just uh just try and release that energy here because what you have, you work hard for. So we don't want someone coming along and sort of taking advantage of you, whether it's, uh, you know, with your money, you know, with how much work you do, you know, someone's trying to get their money's worth or even in a, a connection, an intimate connection. Okay, yeah, so boss up at the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. Yeah, so this is uh, leadership, being your own boss. Um, yeah, taking the lead in some way, some sort of leadership here. And uh, I think just being, uh, let's say, master, master of your own, master of your own destiny, master of your own life. You're your own boss. You haven't got anyone to answer to but yourself. Okay, Virgo. So that's really nice messages coming through there. And um, yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, yeah, I usually do at least a good half an hour, maybe maybe longer sometimes. Um, as I say, I really hope you enjoyed the reading. If you didn't, it resonates with you. Please give me a like, you know, a subscribe. That'd be really good. Um, if it didn't resonate, then maybe next month's will. So always, um, always, you know, have a look at your next reading because if it's not for you this time it might be for you next time and okay okay as i said i can't reach out to everybody every single virgo out there so um this will be for a collective of you and um, remember it's a general reading not a private reading and uh, i look forward to doing your next reading for october virgo very soon please be kind to yourself take care of yourself and uh, don't be too hard on yourself either okay See you soon. Bye, Virgo.